this tutorial, you will learn how to download Microsoft OneNote, download and open the OneNote portfolio template, navigate and edit the template, insert your transcript and other documents into the template, and share your portfolio with your committee. Part 1. Downloading Microsoft OneNote OneNote is a digital organizing tool that allows freeform information gathering and multi-user collaboration. Users can include text information, images, drawings, screen clippings, and audio. Before you can download and open the portfolio template, you should have OneNote installed on your computer. If you are not sure if you have OneNote installed, check the programs on your computer to confirm that you have the latest Microsoft Office suite. Applications on your computer are often organized in alphabetical order, so you may want to look for O for OneNote. If you do not have Microsoft OneNote installed on your computer, you can install it by signing into Atlas. Ensure the My Atlas tab is active and locate the Microsoft Office for Personal Use area. Whether you're using your computer at home or your work computer, you can use this to download Office 365. Click on the graphic, select Install Office, then select Office 365 Apps. A setup program will run on your computer. You'll open it, and it will ask you if you would like to allow this app to make changes on your device. Select Yes. You may be prompted to close other applications on your computer and restart your computer. Part 2. Downloading and opening the template. To download the electronic OneNote portfolio template, access the TLA Candidates Resources webpage by locating the TLA website. You can access the TLA website by selecting Faculty, scroll down to Teaching and Learning Academy, and select Learn More. Select the TLA drop-down option and choose Candidate Resources. Locate Year 3 Developing Your Portfolio. Under Templates, you'll see Electronic OneNote Portfolio Template. Click on it to download. Open the downloaded file. Under Path, you will choose a location to save the OneNote template when prompted. I recommend leaving the path as it is by default, and then select Create. Part 3. Navigating and Editing the Template In OneNote, you will notice the tabs at the top are notebook sections. Each section provides a space for you to include relevant information, and the template will provide directions about what information you are required to provide. This arrow button here will enable visibility of the remaining notebook sections. Click on any of the colored tabs to jump to that section of the notebook. On the right panel, you will see Notebook Sections Pages. You can right-click and choose to delete to remove this page before submitting your portfolio. Click on Add Page to create additional pages within a section as needed. To navigate to a different page, simply click on it. To edit the template, you will treat this as a word processing document. Simply click into the space you would like to edit and delete the instructions and type in your information. You may want to leave the instructions until you've finished typing all your information. Part 4 inserting your transcript or other documents into your template. Tip number one, attach a document or file. Some notebook sections will direct you to upload artifacts. To keep a copy of any document or file as part of your notes, you can attach it to your notebook page. To do this, click in the page where you want the document to be added. Select Insert. Select File Attachment. Locate your file. If you attach it as a file, it will appear as an icon. Your committee members can access it by double-clicking on the file. Tip number two, insert a document or file as a printout. 
When you want to insert information from other files on your computer without attaching or linking to the files, you can insert a picture or printout of the information by using the OneNote printer driver. Instead of actually printing the file onto paper, the printer driver sends the printout to your notebook electronically. To do this, open a document that you would like to insert as a file printout. Go to File, Print, and under Printer Type, select Send to OneNote, and mine is version 16 from the latest Office 365 download. And then select Print. Doing that will activate this window in OneNote. It's the Select Location in OneNote window. So we want to make sure we're putting it in the proper notebook. So the one I'm using is Portfolio Template Final 4. And I want to put it in the Artifacts section. And I think I'm in Section 4, Flow 1 Artifacts. So Section 4, Flow 1 Artifacts. And I want to look at this page here, Flow 1 Artifact. So I'm going to open this up and put it right in that page. So I'll say OK. And you can see now that Word document is now embedded uh, in this page. So you could do the file type with the icon, but this is a little bit nicer. It's more open and easier to see. It, it basically creates a photo version of this. You can position the printout anywhere on a page. You cannot open and edit the printout as if it were the source file, but you can copy text from the printout and paste it anywhere for editing. You can also annotate the printout pictures with additional notes by typing or writing over them. You may also insert a file as a printout without being in the other document first. To do that from OneNote, go to Insert and select File Printout. From here, you can search your computer for the file, and it will bring in the document just the same way as it did before, without you having to open the other document. Tip number three, reposition a file printout picture on the page. By default, each page of an inserted document or file is placed in your notes as a separate picture. Select the picture by moving the pointer over it and then clicking the image. You can use these handles on the corner to change the size to make it larger or smaller if you'd like. You can also click and drag the imported document to a new location within the page on the notebook section. Tip number four, copy text from a file printout picture. Unlike most programs, OneNote allows you to copy text from an inserted print image and paste it elsewhere for editing. Right click the printout image and then do one of the following. Click copy text from this page of the printout to copy the text from only the currently selected printout picture. Click copy text from all the pages of the printout to copy the text from all of the pages of an inserted printout picture. And then you can navigate to the page in your notebook or to another program where you want to paste the text. And then press Control V to paste the copied text. Part 5. Sharing your portfolio with your committee. After you've worked on your portfolio template and you're ready to get feedback from your committee, it's time to share it. To do that, go up to File. And we want to make sure that your account is synced to your Valencia account. It probably already is, but just to be sure, type in your Valencia College email, and that should be the at valenciacollege.edu address, and then enter your password. If you already see that you're signed in with your account information here, then there's no need to sign back in. Go to share and you should see uh, some options here to uh, share with people, get a sharing link, share with meeting, move notebook. You may not see this setup the first time. The first time you try to share your notebook, it may look more like this. You'll notice 
that there's a note up here that says to share this notebook, you'll need to put it on OneDrive or SharePoint. So I'll click OneDrive Valencia College, select Browse, and you're going to want to leave it on this uh, folder here that says your username Valencia College, um, and it's going to be in uh, Documents folder. So uh, type in the name. I'll call this notebook-3 and select move. And it says it's syncing the changes and now it's syncing to the new location. And it should switch to this type of page. You should now see the options to share your portfolio with other people. I don't recommend using the share with people option. Uh, it does allow you to put people's uh, email addresses uh, who are in our network, so our Valencia College um, email addresses. You can do that. However, what it will do is it will require them to sign in. Now, if they want to sign in and have their name next to all of their comments, then that would be the preferable way of doing that. But sometimes it's just a hassle of uh, having everyone sign in uh, to get into your uh, notebook. I'm more of a fan of doing the get a sharing link and this is more of an open way of doing this and you can just like in Google Docs if you're used to doing that you can get a link for viewing only or a link for editing. You will want to share the view link with your portfolio committee so anyone with this link can view the document. So click on create link and it will generate a link for you to share with those people. If you click on the link and hit control C or you can right click and select copy, then select paste in the body of the email that you send to those participants. And that's just an easy way for them to access your portfolio without having to sign in with their credentials. So let's take a look and see what it would look like from a user standpoint. And this is what OneNote Online looks like to a guest contributor. Notice that there are no editing functions because we selected the view link and not the editing link. The committee can review each notebook section here. Part 6. Editing your portfolio on OneNote Online. Perhaps you plan on compiling your portfolio over time from multiple devices. If that is the case, you can access your notebook that you have shared on OneDrive. To do this, visit the Valencia College homepage. From the login dropdown, select Office 365. You may be prompted to authenticate your credentials. If so, select OK. Check to make sure you are signed in with the proper credentials in the top right area. I see that I'm signed in as abergeson1 at valenciacollege.edu. If you see that you're signed in with your at mail.valenciacollege.edu, you'll want to sign out. And make sure that you sign out of Atlas as well. Um, you may get this message because you're not signed out of Atlas. So we'll go to Atlas and we'll sign in and sign back out. And we'll say log out. Visit office.com and you'll see that it will probably remember uh, one of your usernames. If it says sign in as at the mail.valenciacollege.edu, you'll want to switch to a different account. Um, or you can have it forget that account altogether. Um, but it's remembering me under the account that I want it to. So I'll sign in. And I'll put in my password again. Select the icon for OneDrive. This is where you have saved your template. Select the file location to which it was saved. OneNote Online looks a little different from the standard OneNote. Notebook sections are located on the left-hand panel. Notebook section pages are adjacent to the notebook sections, and additional notebooks are located in this top panel here. 
This concludes the tutorial. If you have any questions about how to use Microsoft OneNote, feel free to reach out to your team in the TLA, or you can visit one of the centers for teaching and learning innovation on your campus.